Hello everybody. As most of you probably know, the third eruption has started in the Faradarsfjall system, in the location slightly northeast to the previous eruptions. As expected, the power of the eruption has decreased since its first moments, but the output is still pretty high, as this is the largest eruption of the three that have erupted in the past three years. There are already signs that new fissures might open soon, which is something we saw happen in the first eruption back in 2021. The site of this eruption is the most remote of the bunch, so no infrastructure is in immediate danger. That also means the hike is longer, which I'll get to in a moment. Let's check out the details. On July 10th at 4.40 pm local time, a new eruption began on the Reykjanes Peninsula in the Faraldersfjall volcanic system. The first few hours of this eruption were more powerful than in the previous two. Lava erupted from a 1,100 meter long fissure at a rate of around 40 cubic meters per second. Now, on July 11th, the eruption's power has decreased quite a bit, possibly by as much as 50%, leaving us with an output of around 20 cubic meters per second, which is still more than the previous two. The activity has been shifting towards one crater, like in the past eruptions, and since craters are closing, there are fewer ways for magma to reach the surface, creating more pressure, and hence higher lava fountains, which have been reaching heights of around 40 meters consistently. When our experts last measured the lava field, it covered around 162,000 square meters, and the volume of erupted lava was around 730,000 cubic meters. Those measurements were done 17 hours ago as of the making of this video, so they've increased a bit since then. What's interesting is that northeast of the eruption site, ground deformation is being detected, suggesting that magma is possibly finding other ways to reach the surface, meaning new fissures could open soon like we saw back in the 2021 eruption. So after six days of earthquake activity and waiting, the magma finally reached the surface for one day longer than the activity before the 2022 eruption and two weeks quicker than the activity before the 2021 eruption. Like the activity before the past two eruptions, it decreased drastically leading up to the eruption, to the point where it almost seemed as if nothing was going to happen. Around 3 p.m. local time on July 10th, volcanic unrest was detected, and one and a half hour later, the eruption started. But how is the access to the eruption site, and how long could this eruption last? Well, the access to the eruption site is pretty good. Although you have to walk a long distance, or 10 kilometers from the parking lot to the eruption site, and then 10 kilometers to get back. I went there as soon as the news broke of an eruption, and I can say that the path was really good with very little elevation change. Before heading to the site, be sure to check if it's open and safe, but I'll leave links to the websites in the description where you can check the status. The length of the eruption is very hard to estimate at the time being but we can speculate based on things we saw in the previous eruptions. This eruption is way more powerful than the past two, which might indicate that it depletes its magma reserves more quickly, but there are signs that it may last longer, as there is still magma trying to reach the surface northeast of the eruption site, meaning there is still influx of magma, possibly straight from the mantle, like in the 2021 eruption. It will most likely continue erupting for at least a week, and as the days progress, we could get a better idea of how long it could last. So, at the moment, we can just watch the live streams, or if you're in Iceland, go visit the eruption site given that all lights are green that day. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.